Today, I want to spend a few minutes here giving you some suggestions about how you can create an ePortfolio using Sway in OneDrive. So first, make sure that you've signed in using your Microsoft 365 educational account, making sure you use your username and password that uh, were given to you at the beginning as you have entered into the uh, university. Once you've signed in, you should have access to OneDrive. You should have access to all of the applications that are part of the Microsoft 365 suite. Now, in many cases, you're going to be working in Microsoft Teams. And in Microsoft Teams, you have different channels, and each channel has a Files tab at the top where certain files will be associated to those different channels. So in some cases, you may be creating, let's say, videos or other files that you're uploading to Microsoft Teams. Once you have different files in your uh, Microsoft Teams account, know that you can also access these same files by opening them up in SharePoint. Okay, so again, I selected the ellipsis here at the top right-hand corner of your screen, and I selected Open in SharePoint. Now this will take you to your browser and notice here that I'm within SharePoint, but I'm still in Teams, but again, I'm accessing it using my browser. Notice I have the same files here listed in my browser as I have in Microsoft Teams. If I were to delete one of these uh, files, then any changes I make within the browser, within SharePoint, in this space, are going to be reflected also in Microsoft Teams. So it's basically in the same place. It's just two different ways of accessing this information. Now, this is important because if you're creating videos within Microsoft Teams, let's say that you are creating a meeting or you're creating a video, let's say you're recording a, a class of some kind, it's going to be uploaded automatically to Microsoft Teams to to this space. Now for the purposes of this example, I've uploaded a video and let's assume I created this video directly within Teams with my phone. I recorded a class and it exists now here in the space. When I access this, in fact, if I want to move this file because all the files in this space are temporary. Okay, so after the, after the class has been uh, completed, you may or may not have access to, to this space. You may not have access to your Teams. Also, any videos that are automatically created are generally automatically deleted after three months. At the time of this recording, there's a period of three months before any videos that are created automatically within Teams are deleted. So this is very important that when you create a video within Teams that you move it to your OneDrive. Now to move it to your OneDrive, again, I would open up Teams in SharePoint as I've done here. And let's say that I want to move this. I select the ellipsis and I select Move To. And you're given an option here to move this file, this video, to your own files. Notice I'm selecting now my files, and I have a list of folders. These are all the files and folders that I have in my own personal OneDrive within my Microsoft 365 account. And I have an option here to move it wherever I would like. And that's what I would recommend that you do, to move it from this SharePoint space in Teams to your OneDrive space. So again, this is my OneDrive. I am still in SharePoint, but this is my own personal OneDrive. And this is SharePoint, but within Teams. And, and again, this video here is that was created automatically using my phone, uploaded directly to Microsoft Teams, will be deleted. So I need to go again, select Move To, and select My Files. And these folders that are listed here are the same folders that are listed here. So once they're in your OneDrive, then we want to embed them into a Sway. So if you go into Microsoft 365 and you open up Sway, you'll need to do this from a computer. But here we want to create a Sway. And if you're creating one for the first time, you can use templates here to 
to uh, select a, a theme that you want for your presentation. But I'm going to go ahead and open up this way here as a test. So here you have options to add text. You can add headings, text, images. You can stack images. You can upload media. For our purposes, we want to create an embed option because we want to upload media, but we want to embed it. We're not going to upload files to Sway. All right, so we instead of uploading files like a video file to Sway, which can be very heavy and, and, and can be a challenge, in this case, we're going to embed it. So I'm going to go back to my video and... In this case, I'm going to embed the file that's in Teams, but you can you would do this once you've already moved it to your OneDrive. It's the same process. I'm going to select the ellipsis. I'm sorry, I'm going to open up the file. And select the Share option at the top right-hand corner of your screen, and I'm going to select Embed. And so what we want from this embed code is what's called an iframe. So again, embed and just select or actually click this option, copy embed code. This is an iframe. You don't need to modify it in any way. Just copy it. Go back to your sway. And again, I'll do this once again. You want to select media, embed, and copy and paste it where it says paste your embed code here. And then play to see what it looks like. Now, in this case, I've already had the video up already, but you'll notice that the video now can be seen and played through Sway without having uploaded the file itself. This file currently exists in my Microsoft Teams space. I want to probably later move that to my OneDrive, but whether it's in OneDrive or whether it's in Teams, it will appear here without having to upload the whole file directly to Sway. Again, I would avoid uploading any files, any video files that are heavy directly to, to Sway, upload it to your OneDrive, and then embed it within Microsoft Teams. All right, so that's basically it. Of course, in this example, I would want to add text, probably some headings, maybe even some other images to make it a little bit more presentable. Depending on what the assignment is or what kind of ePortfolio you're including, you might include lesson plans and you can include PDFs or other texts that relate to, to the class. But this video today was meant to give you some suggestions about how to integrate your videos that exist in OneDrive and how to present those here in Sway. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions or concerns or issues regarding technology, always make sure that you're reaching out to me, whether in class or outside of class through Microsoft Teams.